Brian, you guys were able to get after Davis Alexander pretty good tonight. What do you attribute that to? It's just hard work, man. I feel like we only had 60 alignment up for this game, so we just kind of looked at each other and just realized it was one of those games that everybody had to dig deep down and, and pull out their best effort. The defensive line, Brian, like you allude to, has been a bit of a patchwork the last couple of games. Obviously, you've got to dig deep. How how do you find that extra gear? How how do you find that ability to keep performing at as high a level as you are? Uh, I mean, I feel like the guys take all the time during the week to prepare properly with film work and um, just extra time on the field. We've been doing a good job at that, so I just feel like we just sharpened our skills every week and trying to get better every time we go out there. Hey, man, you made a couple of plays that, that aren't going to make the uh, stat sheet. Um, I felt like you played the RPO a couple of times really, really well. Um, you showed up to contain uh, a couple times where uh, Davis Alexander was looking to run, um, and, and it turned around the course of, of the, not only the play but the drive a couple times. And it's been a gradual progression for you, right? Um, I, I think that the player we have now versus the beginning of the year is a much different. What's gone into it? Like, what if it? What has it been? Film work, or is it just you know number of reps you've taken? Because again, you're starting to make the plays that don't start stay up on the stat sheet. Uh, I would say, yeah, a combination of just field work and just getting my body all the way right, um, any nagging injuries or anything like that, just trying to clear all that up and just make sure I'm at my you know, best on game day. Brian, it kind of feels like a little bit of a gut punch to Ryder Nation following the way that this one ended. What was talked about in the dressing room? Uh, just got to stay together. Um, this is a tough one, obviously. Uh, there was no time to point fingers at anybody or anything like that. We just got to stay together as a team, rally together, and this is the time we get closer and um, – put on our best performance that we've had. When you see your teammate Brett Lawther miss four kicks in the game, how do you try to support him? Uh, just keep his head up, man. That's that's our guy. We ride with 12, you know, all the way through. So that's just one thing that we don't always believe in, man. We believe 12 can make the kick. So anytime we put him out there, we got to trust full faith in him that he's going to make it, and we'll continue to do that. Ryan, tell me about your run defense. Only allow 51 yards again tonight. This team continues to make a statement aside from maybe one blip on the radar when you faced Edmonton a couple of weeks ago. How much pride do you take in stopping the run, and how are you so successful at it? We take a whole lot of pride in that. Uh, that's probably one of the calling cards of our defense, just being able to be stout in the run game. Um, you know, we, one of our things is we all lose the bully game, so we feel like the run game is a direct correlation to that. So we try to just, you know, bow our necks and play, play the run every week. Ryan, what was your vantage point on the Davis Alexander touchdown run at the end of the game? Uh, I, well, from my point of view, I thought he stepped out. Um, obviously, the command center didn't think so, so I don't know what about that. But what I saw in my eyes, it looked like he stepped out, so I don't know. Thanks for the insight, Brian. We appreciate it. Thank you.